This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment and educational purposes only. And anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff so you get the videos I put them out. See what I'm thinking, see me analyzing that data. But like I tell every day, the data they release us is false. It's going to give us a false narrative of the market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, these bad actors, naked shooting GME, they don't want to be in this play. They are stuck in the play and there's no way out for them. You know what terrifies them the most? And this is just my opinion. And I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell GME. What terrifies them the most is they have no idea when Ryan Cohen is going to make an announcement of how he's going to spend part of that $4.3 billion war chest. And if he makes a great announcement, it is going to send these bad actors crazy. It's going to be their biggest nightmare because realistically, fundamentally, they cannot justify naked shorting or shorting GME at this point. OK, it's it's not logical, but because they created so many millions or billions of counterfeit GME shares, they can't escape the position. They're trapped in a position. And any time Ryan Cohen comes out with some great news about how he's going to spend that war chest, it's going to be havoc, havoc for these bad actors. They're either going to end up in bankruptcy or run into the feds asking for a bailout. Okay, anyway, that's what I see. But anyway, here are the numbers for GME. You know these numbers mean absolutely nothing because they control the narrative. They control the data. They're claiming there's 21,713,492 shares shorted. I mean, the volume rather not shorted. That was the volume for yesterday. We know that means absolutely nothing because... We have no idea what's going on in the dog pools. We have no idea what's going on in the other exchanges they're using to ma manipulate the price of the stock. They're still claiming 26.78% of the 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 um, float is uh, DRS. I think the number's a whole lot higher, but they control the data. They control the narrative. Um, calls in the money dro dropped drastically to 24416 and at $30... It'll be 86285 I mean, the call options mean absolutely nothing. You guys know these guys sell naked call options every single day. And then if the calls go in the money on Friday, they just bombard the market with a whole bunch of counterfeit shares. Or they wash, sell back and forth between each other, adjust the algorithm so they can push the price down and keep all of our premiums. OK, that is what they do. That is their most modus operandi. That's what they've been doing for the last 36 months. OK, and they're claiming 41.1 percent of the volume was shorted shares. So somehow they found nine million shares to short. You guys know yesterday that AMC and GME had the exact same percentage of shares shorted. But I guess they told the algorithm that was too obvious that was too obvious. It showed the market manipulation. So they made sure that the difference was 1%. <laughs> they made sure the difference was 1% because they didn't want to be in exactly the same. Even though we all know, well, I know, I know that they are manipulating the price of ANC and GME and they're using the same algos to do it and they're trading them in, in some of the same ETFs and that's why. The short percentage is almost identical, in my opinion. And they're claiming they can they can close all their GME short positions in 1.66 days. I don't understand how they think that makes sense fundamentally, logically, or mathematically. But logic and fundamentals has nothing to do with the AMS, the GME play. Nothing to do with it at all. These bad actors can do what they want, whatever they want, because nobody holds them accountable for their criminal activity okay and and this is just one big ponzi scheme you need new counterfeit gme shares to cover the old counterfeit gme shares to keep the ponzi scheme running but i believe the liquidity is running out i believe that the evidence of the fraud and corruption is going to be so overwhelming 
that it might shame the SEC, the DOJ, and the FBI into doing their job and protecting the market and protecting retail investors, pension funds, and institutions that follow the rules. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think adding all these counterfeit GME shorts every day that they can close all their GME short positions in 1.66 days? Anyway, have a great day. God bless, and I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.